Cancer, as you well know, is the leading cause of death worldwide. And the true challenge is that each patient is unique, which means that each patient is unique in the response to therapy. This presents a huge challenge to clinicians who don't really have a predictive tool to understand how a patient might respond to all available therapies before actually prescribing them. So they're left with the trial and error dosing approach using standard of care treatments where they only know if a patient has responded one, two, or maybe six months into treatment. We're developing a platform to actually work with patient-derived cells, which we take from peripheral blood and bone marrow, and we actually co-culture these cells with two proprietary cell lines. We have one line which is called the tox control, and the tox control actually supports the growth of these cells outside of the body and replicates what's going on inside the patient's system. And the tox control also gives us very important information around whether a drug might have a toxic effect on the healthy cells, not just on the cancer cells that we actually want them to kill. We dose this cold culture with drugs and drug combinations in order to analyze the response within seven to 10 days, which is very important because we know that clinicians need to make a decision usually within two weeks. Just last week, we received some promising new data. We tested 54 drugs on six different patient samples. Three patients, unfortunately, did not respond to the therapy they were prescribed, and we were able to predict each of these cases. But in all of our patient samples, we found at least one drug that would have potentially worked. In some cases, we even found that the best drug would have been off-label, which has huge implications for the pharma industry. We're a team of 15, combining backgrounds in genetics, in immunology, in cell biology, and even physics. Our scientists have dedicated their life's research to cancer, and our CSO, Gaston, has developed screening technologies in the past, much like ours, which have had great success with pharma companies such as GSK and Novartis. We'll be building out our team in New York, where we'll be right next door to some of the leading cancer centers worldwide, as well as some of the pharma companies we're in active conversations with about potential collaborations. At Onco Precision, we're developing the world's leading drug screen for oncology. We're getting new data every week, so please reach out if you'd like to see the latest.